Hey everyone, I'm Morty from eifeed.com uh, where you can find inspiration for your next Elementor creation. If this is your first time in this channel, what I do essentially is just uh, do some experiments in Elementor, just try out crazy different things and I share everything here with you. Also you can find the JSON files to download in the description and use it in your own projects. So if you want to get an update every time a new tutorial is up, just uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So today I will show you how to create this effect. As you can see, it's a nice way to tell a story and show a lot of text without it being overwhelming and uh, too much on the screen at once. And it's a nice, uh, you can play with it. It's a nice interaction to play with. I think it's pretty fun. So let's, let me just uh, go through everything. So what we have here essentially is uh, four sections. The first one is uh, sticky to the top. It stays in place while you scroll and it hides the text behind it. The second one is just uh, the about me section. The third one is the text and the fourth one is also a sticky at the bottom. So you have one at the top and one at the bottom. That's what makes the effect that the text comes out of nowhere and just disappears before it reaches the top. And then the, the rest is just animation on the text itself. So let me just I'll create a new page. And we'll just do it from scratch. Create a new page. Complicated name. <laughs> Okay, let me just get rid of the uh, header and the title. Okay, so we have a blank uh, canvas just to start with. We'll create um, the main section. For now, let's just make it 100% of the height of the background. Something like that. Now, let's just duplicate this one. So we'll have another one here at the bottom, text being the same way. So for the second section, you need to have your text ready and you need, you need to put not more than five, six words in each line because we're going to put each line separately it's the only way to achieve this effect this is the first line make this one a bit smaller so for the moment I'll just create two lines just so we have a reference I have two lines now we're going to create the top section 
which is just let's give it a height 10 15 doesn't really matter whatever you want background color sorry and z index you, you want to set it high so it hides the text and motion effects sticky top that will make it stay in the top and hide the text behind it now we want to create uh, to duplicate this section and put it on the bottom change the sticky to bottom and we want we want this one to be at the end and the other one at uh, the start and all of the other sections in between because we want it to scroll and stay at the bottom the whole way okay we're getting somewhere now for the animation So we want a, ver a vertical scroll, not too much, maybe 1.5, and the scale. On the scale, you'll need to play with it a bit if you change the height of the um, of these two. See, we want to create a smooth transition. It needs to start uh, scaling up once it gets behind the, uh, the section that hides it. So in this case, it's about 15% of the screen until 25. Now we can just copy, paste style, Sometimes it doesn't work, you need to do it twice. Yep. So we, we already have two of these layers. You can play with it, make it your own, make it scale a little bit more, maybe uh, do something else besides scaling, maybe fading. Just experiment with it. This is what I found works best, but it could be anything else. And everything else is just practically uh, duplicating all of the other lines. This is the only way I found to achieve this effect. I know it's not that easy, like. It's not just putting a text editor and placing the whole paragraph inside. We actually need to work line by line, uh, but I think it's worth it. I really love the effect it's creating. Now in here, because I wanted to space it out evenly, I just duplicated another layer and made it transparent. Just so it has the exact same height and everything around the, the text See? easier than starting to play with the margin as paddings and everything else this way I know it's the, the exact same height So I think you get the point, right? It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now, another thing I wanted to, to tell you about this, it's very, very important. The thing that makes all of the animations that I show you here a lot better is just 
a very simple plugin which is this one mouse wheel will scroll I put a link to it uh, on the description you can find it at uh, just add new plugins just uh, write mouse wheel just look at this icon try to find this one doesn't have a lot of settings it's not heavy it's really lightweight works great what it does it's, it just makes the scroll smooth and it helps with the animations because it doesn't just scroll like a regular site just makes everything better now you can set the uh, the amount it scrolls in each step right here so if you wanted to make small steps you make the number uh, lower if you wanted to take bigger steps then you make the number bigger but that's all I changed it's I just practically installed it and used it as is it just makes everything a lot better really I think every every website that uses animations need needs to use this uh, plugin because it's amazing really just try it out and see it for yourself well that's it I guess thank you for watching I hope this tutorial uh, inspires you in your own creations and I would love for you to share them with me because I want to see uh, what you come up with. Let me know in the comments below if you liked anything. Um, I will be showing more of this experiment so don't forget uh, to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates. Don't forget also to visit eifee.com to get more inspiration. I just collect the most beautiful uh, elementary websites I can find online, put them here categories uh, by color as you can see a lot of beautiful inspiration it has a lot of uh, filtering just so you can find exactly what you want and of course also in the playground you can watch the experiments I work on at the moment of course I am working on them so they're uh, real experiments and if you come in everything is just uh, broken don't worry about it by the time they uh, become tutorials, I fix them uh, as best as I can. Um, and that's it. See you next time. Stay inspired.